right? So I did a tour of Peekskill with the next space. This is a beautiful city. Um, so I'm gonna do one since I was passing through again and do one with the VFO. I might, I'm gonna try to tour, it was kind of short, but I'm gonna make this one a little bit low. The weather is kind of bad. Obviously you don't see the visibility like a background as you did with the other camera. So you gotta take the, you know, when you, if you watch that video and watch this one compare, I'm gonna order, I already made my decision. I, I returned the next space. Um, I, after I do, did a couple of videos, I wasn't happy with the, the quality of the video. Don't get me wrong, it's not horrible, but it could be better. You know what I mean? It definitely could be better. Um, it, it, I don't know. It was it was just something about it. Like there was a, a I feel like there was like a slight blur to it. Not nothing like noticeable, unless you. Like me paying very good attention to the details when zooming in. Um, it was just for the price of what you, uh, of the camera. I felt like it was just not worth it. Not worth it at all. And look, with the rain, it's gonna be harder to judge, right? The the, the rain. Uh, so you're really not gonna. But I guarantee you, even with rain, this this camera the. The VFO is, is probably going to be so much better. I don't know what's up there, so I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to go into the city now, up, like downtown. This is by the train station of the Metro North. You know, again, I have family up here, so, I, um, so I'm, I'm visiting and I decide I'm just going to do a little tour on my morning visit. Um, and especially... When, when you want to compare it to the other one I did. I was going to go to the other one, but that's just too far up. <laughs> um, it was in Cold Spring. I did a video on that uh, with the... I actually, I think I did it with the VFO. If I'm not mistaken. I, I think I did, but it was... Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't remember now. I can't remember if I... The camera was up, but I don't think I put it up because... It was kind of blocking it, so I might have still uploaded it, but eventually I'll do another one. I'll do a 1440p test um, and a 4K test, and I'll probably do the same here. I'll probably do the 1440p uh, at 60 frames, and, and this one, which is 4K 30 frames. Both with a uh, wide dynamic range WDR off, and the reason why I wanted to do it off is because a lot of... Uh, a lot of a lot of people said that um, it uh, degrades the quality, you know, of the video when you ha I mean when you have it on the wide dynamic range. So, and I think that's mainly for night drives, and I think this does pretty well with the low light at night. It's probably one of the best of all that I tested. It definitely does bring grain, a little bit of grayness, and and like motion blur is that the right word um washed out at night but it's it's more clearer and definitely a lot better than the other ones that i've tested so it says no outlet okay i probably should have went this way then um Okay, yeah, this is not all right. So, I'm just gonna go in a circle and then I'll probably do the same thing, testing it out at uh, 1440p. I'll drive a little bit more actually. Eh, you know what? Yeah, I'll do I'll just uh.
so anyway I've been um, trying to see what's a good, good quality dash cam because I want to put a quality videos up you know on, on the on the channel and so far this one seems to be the best you know overall especially in daytime and honestly like if it was when it was if it's to daytime footage only I would probably keep the 1440p at 60 frames maybe if I was only dealing with uh, daytime footage Probably gonna switch over to the 14p now and do that same route more or less <laughs> 